Here's another confidence booster for you. It's okay if you know you won't remember all the key points in a slide when you get to it. This is normal for everyone. And in fact, PowerPoint doesn't even expect you to remember either. That's why we have speaker notes. It's notes that only we can see on our side of the computer screen when we're presenting, but the audience won't see it on the slides in the big screen. To add speaker notes, at the bottom of any slide you want to add a note for, just click Notes from the status bar and start typing. So where it says click to add notes, I'm going to click my mouse, and now I can add my notes. Keep it short, because remember, you'll need to be able to read these quickly while the audience is sitting there waiting. When we're done, you don't have to save anything or close out of anything. You can simply go on to the next slide. Now, for example, slide number one, when we're talking about the agenda, this is a good time to go and remind the audience that they can't use cell phones, or that there'll be questions at the end. Now you can hide these notes at any time by simply clicking notes from the status bar. They're still there, you just can't see them. So that's how you use speaker notes. You can go through and add any notes you want to any slide you want. You can go back in and edit them at any time by coming into a slide, clicking notes from the status bar, and start typing. So later, we'll see a special view when you're actually presenting your show so that you can see your notes.